Northern Heights has recently been awarded a $3,000 grant from the Good Life Kids Foundation. The grant is being used to introduce a new regular fitness program for all grade 4 through grade 8 students. Haley says she loves the opportunity to get fit and how it has already changed the school. It's actually amazing. Like you, you go in there and you see everybody in their orange shirts and you see everybody kind of going together and it's just really powerful. You go into the classroom even after you work and we, we all like, we seem to be working better together as a class and as a school. The whole atmosphere has changed. Northern Heights Public School wants to improve student engagement, decrease inappropriate student behavior, and convince kids that fitness can change their lives. So once we found out we received the grant, it was uh, just such a blessing for this school because we noticed in this school uh, there were some behaviors that were just inappropriate. Kids were kind of lethargic in class. We were having, uh, you know, just a series of things happen where we, we sat down as a staff and thought, how are we going to bring these kids up? And certainly one of the big things that came up in these meetings was getting them healthy, getting them moving, and uh, getting them more alert in the classroom. So I think that was the first stage. And so with the help of the Good Life Kids Foundation, um, they had a $3,000 grant based on their own fundraising here in Sault Ste. Marie last year. So we really lucked out. We wrote a lengthy grant about uh, things that we could do at this school to get the kids moving. And not just one classroom, but all the kids from grades 4 to 8. So we're talking about 90 kids. And there are some kids who are um, really struggling with their nutritional habits, with daily exercise. And I can't believe the progress we've made just within the first month. I think the big idea is that we're looking to instill habits. We're not uh, just trying to turn this into a six week program or a 10 week program, but to create uh, a real aura at our school that everyone buys in, teachers and students. So we um, are not just standing around watching kids exercise. We're jumping in with the kids as their teachers. They see us as role models and we are taking place, uh, are taking part, excuse me, in every workout that we do. So we have the principal who's leading by example, all of the teachers involved, and even uh, we invite the parents to come and join us at any time. So, Good Life Fitness is excited to be involved in this new program and the future benefits it will bring to the participating students. It becomes a lifestyle change. Uh, I believe that the, the sooner kids experience what it's like to um, move and have fun with fitness, it becomes uh, part of their uh, everyday life. So going into college, um, future with their families, we're starting the trend of uh, young kids being healthy and so they have that energy and vitality and it's a reflection on the parents and the whole uh, family being involved in fitness. Um, one thing about Good Life is we offer uh, free teen fitness passes starting in July to the end of August and we want every Canadian to live a healthy, fun lifestyle. Um, I'm so proud of Good Life being a part of Northern Heights because I see the energy that Steve gets off of it, the personal trainer that comes here three times a week. And um, you hear the uh, children are doing so well at school, they have that nutrition and I'm even more prouder of the uh, principal and uh, Davy Taylor and the staff that is um, so involved in this. It's just a positive impact on the school and think of what that can do, can do if all schools get involved. The program has been running for a couple of weeks now and already the students are seeing the benefits of being involved. I think it's amazing um, because we're getting fit, we're getting healthy vegetables, fruit, um, we're, um, kids us age, like, we'll become um, video zombies, vi video game zombies, I mean, and then we'll just be like that for the rest of our lives until we die. So we better live while we're young and work out. Although part of the program is physical, there's a big emphasis put on nutrition and education. The nutritional part is that they, they have access to all the healthy foods uh, in, in their classrooms. Uh, throughout the day which is uh, the fruit and vegetables and the juices and it's all there for them to take and the educational part is probably the most important component because they realize and understand that they're through their physical activity and through healthy eating they're able to have a sound healthy lifestyle and able to perform academically in the school and we're seeing a lot uh, of uh, energetic productive students in our classroom and we really, really seen it evolve. All 90 students will engage in three workouts per week until the program wraps up on June 21st. For Shaw TV, I'm Jonathan Perriard.